Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at basically introduction to index form. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so when we have a look at the first question, we already know what this answer is. We know that five times five is 25. We, we know we're pretty, pretty confident with it. Now, there is another way of writing this as well. Now, you might have actually heard of five squared. So instead of writing this as 25, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as five squared. So this is basically just taking a whole bunch of numbers that you're going to keep on multiplying by itself, but write it in a short format. So if you look at question uh, B there, we've got how many? F one, two, three, four, five. We've got five threes there. So we actually write this as three to the power of five. Notice how the when I say to the power of five. So this part is actually not written right next to the three, but it's actually written uh, just at the top right corner of the number to know as three to the power of five. Now, when it comes to the calculator, you can actually just go three times three times three times three times three, and that's going to give you 243. Now, you're sitting there thinking, surely there must be a, a quicker way of doing this. But before we get to that, let's have a look at this question here. What if we have something like this? We have 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. And let's say it just keeps going. All right. And let's imagine it like this. So this is our first 8, a second 8, a third, 4, 5. And let's say we get to something like, um, I don't know, like times 8 times 8. And let's say this is um, the ninth number and the tenth number. And what would this equal to? So we would actually need to go eight times, eight times, eight times, eight times, and that's just way too long, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write this in index form. So to do that, we're gonna go eight to the power of 10. Now, the next step is like putting this all in the calculator. Now, in different calculators, they have like different um, buttons. So the current calculator that I'm using at the moment, there is a button that looks like this with a little black box and a little corner one. <laughs> little another box in the corner so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that and we're going to do five squared first because we know what that is so we're going to go five squared oh no that's going to go as 52 which means i want to go into the little little rectangle there and i'm going to put that as five squared and when i do that i get 25 same with three to the power of five we know that that was 243 um, i wonder if i can do this if i can go three to the power oh i can there you go so i can just click on three and then this button and then I can throw in the 5 there and that's going to give me 243 so when it comes to 8 to the power of 10 what you could do is you can just go 8 click on this box here and that's going to open up that power box and inside the power we're going to put 8 to the power of 10 and as you can see the answer is 1 billion whatever that it's, it's a pretty big number all right and um, yeah to save time we tend to actually use um, the index form especially writing like big numbers um, you can actually use this and this button is pretty handy um, with this calculator now I know as I said before different calculators have different kind of buttons what I might do is I might um, release a video later on with uh, three different calculators to show you guys how to calculate this with those three different calculators Cool. So that's just a brief intro to index form folks. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.